How's it? How's it? My name's Tyre. How are you doing? Cool. So anyway, uh, welcome to another traffic talk. Today is going to be a very brief one. I'm kind of just going to be chatting about something I was talking to someone online recently was uh, scars and um, injuries. So I thought let me share with you guys. Hey, there's a guy over here taking a selfie. How do I get into this picture? I uh, can't. can't. I can get my car in it. Yeah. Okay. Anyway, talking about injuries. I'm fairly certain I got the car in it, so that's a win. Yes. Um, talking about injuries and broken bones and stuff. I thought I'd share some of my stories with you. Um, and there is a troll who wants to get into the far right hand lane on a slip. Okay. Anyway, what have I broken in my body? Well, my nose. Something I broke when I was younger. Um, so let me give you, I'm giving you guys a really quick answers to all of the stuff. Um, I got in a fight. I'm not a violent person, even though I come from the south of Joburg. I promise, not, not violent. Um, but I got in a fight with someone. I was chasing after them um, in the fight. They kind of ran towards like a pillar type of thing, like a pole. And they dodged out the way. And as I was running towards it, they stepped behind me and took the back of my head and slammed it into the pole. And obviously, the body doesn't like it when things like that happen. So my nose broke. So that's the first thing I've broken. Um, I've got a dent over here in my head. I don't know if you can see it. Where I got hit by a brick. Fortunately, that wasn't in a fight. Um, being a kid, we were playing around somewhere and you know like when you see a chain of people and they're like chucking bricks towards one another like passing them down and stacking them we were doing something like I don't know why okay but we we're doing something like that and um, I went down to pick something up and I came up and someone was fly flinging a brick and went flying and it smacked me in my head and they'll probably explain a lot for some of you people um, but yeah that's why there's a dent I don't know if you can see it where the robots are, okay. Over here. Anybody that? Yeah, okay. Anyway, it's there. It exists. Um, so that's a dent. That exists. The nose thing happened. What else? Um, I've got a scar on this finger over here. I don't think you can see that one. Where, when I was young, we were playing with a pair of scissors. And I uh, cut my finger pretty much like to a point where it was quite loose. And it was gross. Lots of blood. So that happened. And, um... Yeah, what else has happened? I uh, dislocated my toe. I'm talking like two years ago now. And that was quite painful when it happened. I kind of was wrestling and I got bounced, I got rolled and my foot went and clicked and there was lots of pain. And oh my goodness, okay, I'm not going through this intersection. Um, there was lots of pain and I kind of limped it off, walked it off. And I walked it off for a while, like I'm talking like two days. Still a bit sensitive, a bit sore, but I thought, you know, maybe I've sprained it. And then I was sitting at home on the couch and I was like, no, there's definitely something going on here. And I wiggled it and I pulled it and it went pop and the pain went away. So it was dislocated. It was <laughs> an interesting situation to be in that this person is letting me go through. Thank you. Okay, now you're going to. Uh, okay, okay, thank you. Thanks, thanks, thanks. Ladies and gentlemen, traffic. I love it. So yeah, dislocated my toe, um, put it back in myself, kind of carried on. It's a bit painful, but I've lived. And now every once in a while, if I, you know, when you do that with your feet, when you like squish, yeah, it still clicks. So I've got a permanently clicking toe. So hopefully it's fully relocated, not like partially dislocated. But I'm sure there'd be other problems, right? I don't know. Those are some of the big scars. I have a scar on my, um, my one wrist from a friend in school who dug her nails into my hand, trying to get something out of my hand and left a scar on me. So that's fun. Um, another one, these are the last, last one. Um, I've got a scar on my leg where I literally took a chunk out of my shin running home because I was late so I was supposed to be home at a certain time you know when you're a kid and I was running from a friend's house to my house 
and there's like you know there's manholes like a fire hydrant type of manhole on the side of the pavement that was overgrown with grass and there was no lid and my leg went into that and went clunk and um, yeah took a chunk of chunk of skin out and it never grew back so it's just like a weird little patch so those are my scars those are fun I thought I'd share that with you just because I think scars are a very interesting topic I think there's something that you can um, have stories behind like all of mine have stories and I think it's something that's kind of like unintentional personal customization that's another way to think of a scar so yeah I think those are cool thought to share those with you if you guys have scars that you want to talk about uh, or, or stories more rather that you want to talk about about things that have how they've happened to you or like epic things that have happened to you that stick with you for life now drop them down below and that's that for today's video a nice quick and short one six minutes uh click like if you like this i'll catch you guys in the comments click my face to subscribe sharing is caring bye